Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to make a capo with the help of a pin and the hair bands. You can use the rubber bands also, it hardly matters. Now first of all, what is a capo? Basically, capo reduces the number of frets and increases your scale or pitch. Right? I'll show you afterwards. First, how to make a capo. Put this pin on the first or second fret. I'll go, on for the, I'll go for the second fret. Now, with the help of rubber band, sorry hair band put this on the lower base like this and make it come behind the guitar to the upper end like this obviously this is not tight so we're gonna make few loops on the upper the, on the base side like kind of like this one and one down two This. Now check out the strings that they're, so, uh, they're sounding right or not. They should be not dead. They should not sound like they're dead. So. Not totally accurate, but we're gonna use one more band. The same, the same thing. Is ready. This is not 100% accurate, but something is better than nothing. Now your capo is ready. Basically, this is reducing the number of fret and increasing your scale. So I'm here, I'm decreasing the number of fret by one and increasing the scale by one, right? So this was C major. If this capo wouldn't have been there, this was C major, but I put on a capo on the first fret, so I'll play the C major from here. But the only the position of fingers are same of C major, but in actual, this scale is increased by one. This will be C sharp major. Earlier this was C major, this, this was C sharp major. C sharp major was like this, with the bar. We used to play like this, but we can play it like this. Open, oh, easy one. Uh, now this was G major. If the capo wouldn't happen there, but capo is on first string. Now G major will be like this, but in actual it sound like G sharp major. So you can get rid of bar with the help of capo. The capo was second fret. So now the chord here was C sharp major. On, when we keep the cap on 2nd fret, the chord will be D major, but the finger positions are of C major. It's very easy to play. Now, G major becomes A major, because after G sharp, A major, uh, in this uh, scale, after G sharp, A scale come. So, uh, the capo on 1st fret was G sharp. Now here it becomes A 